Hello and uh, welcome to the channel. I'm uh, Captain James Bollinger and uh, you're watching The Sussex Smuggler and I've got a bit of a, a story to tell you today. Um, and it's got a bit of folklore to it, a bit of contemporary folklore if you like. And uh, it's something I learned about um, prior to the recent weekend and uh, something that I want to share with you. Now I've just got to give you some background information to this and uh, we can get into the story then um, but um, now I want to talk about Sussex uh, Sussex is uh, a unique county in its own right and its beaches that those of you that don't know are full of shingle there's hardly any sandy beaches along the south coast of Sussex with a few exceptions um, like West Witterings and place the, play beaches like that. Uh, they're not necessarily stacked up with shingle, but uh, normally the shingle are in the low-lying areas of Sussex uh, over to the west of the county from about, uh, from about Brighton west onwards to about Chichester and the West Witterings over that, uh, towards that direction. And of course, Sussex is also... Um, famous for its um, folklore and um, the Fae. The Fae are very interesting, the fairies. And uh, one should never get into their head that a fairy is a little flying thing like Tinkerbell or Walt Disney, uh, a creation uh, for cartoons and children. They're not. They're um, something else. They're, they're, they, they can be quite nasty. And they can give you some uh, good karma too if you look after them or leave them alone. And uh, they're a great um, belief in Ireland as well as uh, a lot of the counties in, in England and Sussex is one of them. You read ma many a, a book about folklore and the Fae in Sussex and they were handy little uh, agricultural workers back in the day. And they had the same sort of setup as uh, a lot of the Irish Fae stories like for, uh, fairy forts and hawthorn trees and clumps not to be disturbed or messed with and the same here in Sussex now I know this um, wild swimmer and she goes regularly over uh, a beach in Worthing called Goring Beach it's, it's like a sub-district of, of Worthing and she swims all year round, winter, summer, doesn't really bother her. And uh, it's said to be good for your mental health. And uh, she went swimming one day and um, took a car, as usual, down to the car park, parked up, grabbed her bag, dry robe, buoyancy aid, put on her sand shoes, you know, those, those peculiar looking shoes they look a bit ridiculous but believe me it, you need them walking across the shingle and of course if you're getting into the sea uh, in this country in the united kingdom you don't know what you're going to be stepping on so she walked across the, the shingle crunch 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 as you could well imagine hard going to get to the, the the side of the water so she puts her stuff down strips down to a swimming costume sand shoes stay on obviously and gets into the water and swims away, swims away, has a half an hour swim in the English Channel, like a mill pond. It's, just late, it's in late summer, so everything's calm, and then comes in. And it's interesting because she looks down at all her belongings in her bag and finds what appears to be sea glass. So she picks it up and looks at it. Oh, she knows a sea glass because she collects it. So she's come home, bought it to me, and I've had a look at it. And she said to me, that's heart-shaped. That's lovely, that is. And I said, yeah, it's a nice piece of um, sea glass. But I said, it's not heart-shaped at all. She said, what do you mean? I said, if you turn it the other way, it's in fact the island of Portland. And uh, I'll have a, I'll get the uh, the said sea glass up on the screen, and you can see what I mean. 
there it is, the island of Portland. And I said, look at it. There's all the various towns, such as Chickerall, the Bill, the Grove, obviously Eastern and Western in the middle. And I said, it's probably a sign from the Fae. And of course, we can't forget that the Fae, the fairies, are shapeshifters. They can take and assume any role. They can be a human. They can be uh, invisible. They can be mermaids, the banshee, anything, an animal. Um, we've had plenty of animals in the water off of Sussex as of late because that stone was, wasn't there at all when she put her belongings down. And to find it on top of her belongings, in particular her bag, is quite something. And there's only one explanation to that. Well, is there? I'll let you speculate about that. But, of course, there it is, Portland, the island of Portland in, in Sussex, in the form of sea glass, right there. There it is. I'll speculate as to what I think it is and possibly what it means, but um, that's for you as well. Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I'm Captain James Bollinger, and you've been watching the Sussex Smuggler. And it's a goodbye for now. See you soon. Take care.